Hey everybody, Ripley with Bob's Watches. Today we're talking about one of the most popular and diverse categories of timepieces, sports watches, and highlighting some key models and industry standouts. Also, if you haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can stay up to date on our latest video content. Before we even get started, it's worth noting that the sports watch category is absolutely massive and it's easily one of the largest and most varied genres within the industry. You may also find that the definition of a sports watch differs from one person to the next, but most folks will generally agree that they are typically built to robust standards and feature a decent level of water resistance. The classic sports watch is one that was not designed for a specific sport, but rather one that was created to be worn during a variety of different athletic or demanding activities. These models don't feature any additional features or complications to help them perform their intended task, and this subcategory of sports watches can be a bit ambiguous and thus rather varied. On the luxury-oriented side of the spectrum, you have legendary models such as the Patek Philippe Nautilus and the Audemars Piguet Royal Oak, while on the more utilitarian you'll find watches like the Tudor Ranger and the non-diver models from the Black Bay Collection. Rolex's very first sports watch, the Explorer, debuted in 1953 to celebrate mankind's successful summit at Mount Everest, and it also falls into this category as it's about as pure and straightforward as you can get with its simple but functional time-only display. Omega takes a slightly different route with its Aquaterra line, which unlike most of its Seamaster siblings, skips out on the rotating timing bezel and thus is not a diver. However, with 150 meters of water resistance and a screw-down winding crown, it's still more than capable of accompanying you in the water. With that in mind, if you plan on spending a lot of time actually underwater, then you might want to consider getting yourself a dive watch. Divers are easily one of the most popular types of sports watches, despite the fact that very few people still use them for scuba diving. Ample water resistance ratings are an absolute must for dive watches, as are highly legible luminous displays, and the majority also feature rotating bezels that can be used for tracking immersion times and decompression stops. Divers have become such a popular category of sports watches that many of today's brands actually now have multiple collections of dive watches within their respective portfolios. For example, Rolex has both the Submariner and the Sea Dweller, and even then, the Sea Dweller is further divided into both the standard models and the deep sea. Similarly, Omega also offers two lines of dive watches with the classic Seamaster Diver and the more capable Planet Ocean, which doubles the already ample 300 meter depth rating of the standard Seamaster. Oris has both the vintage-inspired Diver 65 and the modern-leaning Aquas collections, and even Rolex's sibling company Tudor has two separate lines of dive watches with the Black Bay and the Pelagos. Racing chronographs are another incredibly popular type of sports watch, and by their definition, they feature movements with chronograph complications that allow them to measure elapsed time. Most often, racing chronographs feature either a duo or trio of registers on their dials, along with a pair of pushers on either side of the winding crown for operating the chronograph. Additionally, many also include tachymeter scales on either their dials or bezels that allow their users to measure either average speed or distance. Probably the most famous racing chronograph on the market, and one of the most famous watches in the world, is the Rolex Daytona, which takes its name from the famous Daytona International Speedway in Florida. However, another incredibly famous racing chronograph, but one that frequently gets left out of this category, is the Omega Speedmaster. Due to its famous associations with space exploration, many think of the Speedmaster as just a watch for astronauts, but when it was first launched in 1957, it was actually designed for the world of automobile racing, hence its Speedmaster name. Similar to racing chronographs, regatta timers are another type of sports watch that are aimed at the world of competition, in this case sailing. However, unlike traditional racing chronos that count upwards, regatta timers are primarily intended to help their users count down to the start of a race. Probably the most famous regatta timer is the Rolex Yacht Master II, which was designed from the ground up specifically for competitive sailing and features a programmable countdown timer with both flyback and fly forward functionality. With that in mind, the most common type of regatta timer is likely the style found in Omega's range of Seamaster Diver chronographs. These models feature traditional chronograph movements with special countdown rings on their minute registers that enable them to be used for counting down to the start of a race. Where definitions of sports watch get a little blurry is when it comes to pilot's watches. Whether or not a pilot's watch is more of a tool watch than a sports watch is up for debate, but since they're hobbyist pilots and sport pilots too, we figured we'd go ahead and include them here in this guide. The definition of what constitutes a pilot's watch is equally up for debate, but it's generally agreed upon that a large and highly legible display is a must, and a secondary time zone, chronograph, or even a slide roll bezel can be included for added utility. Rolex's line of pilot's watches is the GMT Master Series, which first debuted in 1955 and features an additional 24-hour hand on its dial and a rotating 24-hour bezel. However, you'll also find pilot's watches like the Breitling Navitimer, which are chronographs paired with slide rule bezels that enable them to be used as analog flight computers to help pilots compute a number of different calculations and conversions. By no means is this list collectively exhaustive, and in addition to these types of sports watches, you'll also find timepieces created for mountaineering, cave exploration, golf, tennis, and even polo. 
A big part of the reason why sports watches are so popular today is because they pair durability with function-forward designs to create purposeful timepieces that can be worn every single day. Styles can range from elegant and refined to utilitarian and instrument-like, but regardless of the type of sports watch you choose, you're getting a timepiece that was designed to stand up to the rigors of everyday wear and use. Thanks for watching our video on sports watches. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can stay up to date on our latest video content.